Hello everybody, I am again back with my online video class. Now before I start my class, I have one request to all of you that if you like my video and the presentation, please do subscribe my channel. The topic that I am going to teach you is courses of reward. What does the word courses of reward means? The word courses of reward means the path through which a river is flowing from its source to its mouth. Now, the place where river is born is called its source and the place where river meet the sea is called its mouth. Now, the total course of a river is subdivided into three parts. That is upper course middle course and lower course. In the upper course, the river flow through the mountain and it engage in erosional work that is removal of loose rock and debris. In the middle course and the lower course, the river flow through the plain and it may engage mainly in depositional work. In each course, we have distinctive features like in the upper course there is waterfall in the middle course there is tributary marsh oxbole in the lower course there is meander flat plain delta and estuary now i will discuss in detail about each and every course of river upper course in the upper course the river is in youthful stage it flow with great velocity and erode rock boulders and hard surfaces. Swift flow of the river water along the steep slope of the mountain is seen. And this swift flow of river water is mainly responsible for erosion of rocks, boulder and hard surfaces. Features in the upper course. The first feature that is seen in the upper course is a George or I shaped valley. This kind of valley is formed due to erosion of river. In the upper course, the river engage mainly in vertical erosion. Due to erosion of soft rock and hard rock and retreat of waterfall, a George is created. Water form. What is waterfall? Waterfall is also created due to the vertical erosion by the river, that is, erosion of the soft rock. Now, how we can define the waterfall? Waterfall means a place where water is flowing down the steep wall like slope along the course of a river or stream. V shaped valley. When the vertical erosion by the river develops steep slope of the valley and it looks like English alphabet V, it is known as V shaped valley. Now as the river are very swift in the upper course, therefore, what we can do? We can construct dam across the swift flowing river that will help to generate electricity. And the electricity that is generated from the water is known as hydroelectricity because the word hydro came from the Greek word huder, which means water. Middle course. In the middle course, the river is in mature stage. The speed of the river drastically reduces. It deposits lot of sediments while flowing through the plain and make it fertile. Features in the middle course. In the middle course, the river flow through a winding curve or bend. That means we can say that we can see winding curve or 
advent of a reward force which is known as reward meander. Oxbow Lake and Oxbow Lake is a U-shaped lake that form when a wide meander of a river is cut off creating a free standing body of water. Formation of Oxbow Lake. How does the formation of Oxbow Lake takes place? You can see that three stage by which a Oxbow Lake is formed in this diagram. In this diagram, the yellow color area are areas of deposition and red color areas are areas of erosion. Now, in the first stage what happened? Erosion makes the neck narrow. In the second stage, that is during flood, river takes shortest course through the neck. In the third stage, new straighter river course is formed and the cut off or abundant part of the meander forms the Oxbow Lake. In this way, we get an Oxbow Lake from the river meander. Tributary. In the middle course, we can see tributary. Now, what is a tributary? It is a river or a stream flowing into a large river. That is, you can see in this picture that river Yamuna is the tributary of river Ganga because river Ganga is the main river in which river Yamuna is coming and meeting near Proyak Raj fort of Elabad. Lower course. In the lower course, the river is in old stage. The river divides into many finger like channels called bridge tributaries or braided stream because it deposits fine silk or alluvium as the carrying capacity of the river is very low. Now why the carrying capacity of the river is very low? Because in the lower course due to very gentle slope of the land the velocity of river water is very very less. Normally we can see delta as an important feature in the lower course. Now how a delta is formed? A delta is formed by deposition of sediment that is carried by a river as the flow leaves its mouth and enter slower moving or stagnant water of the sea or an ocean. As you can see in this diagram that Sundarban Delta is created when the water of river Ganga and Brahmaputra together entering the Bay of Bengal. So with this I end my video lecture over here. Hopefully you will like it and if you have any kind of problem in understanding or any other kind of queries you can put your comment in my WhatsApp. WhatsApp group. The my WhatsApp number is six two nine zero eight triple one six one. I am again saying the number of my WhatsApp group that is six two nine zero eight triple one six one. Or you can do one thing. You can put your question or any kind of comment in the comment box of my YouTube channel. Thank you.